Hello, hello. I just realized I was messing with the intro BGM levels and not the regular audio levels. Woo! How do you like how I look? I did some more changes. Yeah. I, I wanted to do something different than what I had, but maybe not as different as the the fox kimono one. So I don't know. I'm liking it. I need to get a different background though. I kind of blend in a little bit. Anyway. Yeah. I still, I, I don't know. I think I like this one more. But yeah, I agree that the fox didn't really, didn't really fit too much. Anyway, I kind of clicked through the game a little bit. I named my kingdom Romland. Romland? It makes me, Rom, Romland. Saying Rom makes me want to go Land, but Romland. I don't know why that's so hard to say. Romland. Foreign, fancy. How's the volume on this? Audio's good? Okay. Let's see. Actually, I want to turn it down on my side a little bit. Although it stops when I click out of the game. Let's see. Still kind of loud on my side. This should be good. Yeah, the ears, getting rid of the ears does change it. I don't know if I want the ears, I don't know. I'll have to see how it looks with with this model. Oh yeah, glasses, I don't have any glasses either. I might just go with the dropping those aspects, I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what they look like. This game was free on Steam, like, a couple weeks ago, I think. And it was really highly rated or something, so... It's like, okay, let's try it. I think it's like a roguelite. A roguelike? I don't know the difference. I know there is a difference and people get, people get mad when you get it wrong, but... I don't know. It can't hurt me, right? I don't really know much about it. I watched like maybe 10 seconds of a clip on YouTube just to kind of see what I was getting into. Like, oh, that it seems it seems fun. It says that the the matches are like the levels are like 10 minutes. So we'll just be doing the same thing a few times, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Creatures attacked in the night. The caravan was unprepared. Travelers had been warned about the unexplored realms, but pride often plays tricks on reason. Flames and blood engulfed the defenders, nomads, exiles, and vagabonds, with only a handful of real fighters among them. Injured, ill-trained, and separated from one another, many of the survivors had no choice but to press on into a nearby network of maze-like caverns. Ooh. This looks a lot different than I expected. Okay. Where do I... How do I start? Hmm. What is this? I'm so lost just looking at this. 
of... Okay. Maybe I should have looked more into it. Current gold amounts. Current piety. Gods reward or punish you through giving or taking piety points. Alright. Current conversion points. Humans get a 10% attack bonus. Okay. Human guard. Base damage level. Health. Mana. Looks like something goes here. This button doesn't seem like it does anything. Oh. Try exploring before attacking. Okay, give me the tutorial. Why didn't they start with that? Okay. Hello, welcome to Desktop Dungeons, a randomly generated turn-based puzzle roguelike thing of dungeoneering, heroism, and monster slaying. To get started, click on the sign near your character and read what it has to say. Okay. Greetings, adventurer. You're in the legendary depths of the lost tutorial wand dungeon. One of many seemingly random cave networks left behind by the old kingdom. Nobody knows what they're here for, but everyone agrees that they're awesome. When you're done reading this, click on the visible ground to move and explore. Okay. To the right stands a typical desktop dungeons monster. You'll find that combat in this game is surprisingly detailed, nuanced, and flexible. For now, however, you should just click on the baddie until he dies. Oh, so I just repeatedly click. Okay. I can go diagonal. Really are a clever little biscuit, aren't you? Aw, I guess. You insist. Bad guy meat man. Copyright infringement likely. That does look like familiar. Super Meat Boy. That's actually on my list to play. I've had it for a while, but I've never finished it. Actually, I don't know if I ever even opened it. I don't know. In compliance with regulations set out by the Tutorial 1 Dungeon Labeling Committee, we've stapled a giant 2 onto the next creature's foot just to show you how gosh darn tough he is. Wait. Okay, seriously, stop trying to attack this monster. It's a ball of barely constrained range as it is. Pacifying these tutorial monsters takes effort, you know? So I just skip it? If you happen to have injured any creatures, our state-of-the-art foe regeneration tracker will keep track of their health for you. Be wary, though. They heal just as easily as you do. Okay, adventurer, the tutorial one. Fair play committee has decided to put these enemies here in your interest. In interest of your sustained enjoyment and survival. Destroy them at your leisure. Yeah, I'm starting to get it. Wait. You'll find more useful information by right-clicking on a target enemy to manually select it. The side panel will populate itself with available actions. Okay. This stuff. You can fight this bandit by clicking on the attack icon or mouse over its portrait for more information. Hits. Fully healed your stats. You've been fully healed and your stats have improved. Ah, okay. So now I can go fight Meat Man. Oh yeah. You're a certified badass now. You should go find something else to kill. Nice. Okay. How do I get across there? Can I get across there? I see nothing else to kill. Oh wait. This way. Ye gods! It's a goat! Get out of there, brave adventurer. Take the side passage before it eats your soul. You do well to heed this advice. The numbers show that this enemy is simply too strong for you. Alright. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. This is a dead end. You're going to die. <laughs> okay. We hope you've enjoyed your tutorial one tutorial. Tour. You'd offer feedback forms, but you know, you'll, you'll be dead and stuff. It's a hard game. Expect to die a lot until you become more experienced. Attack the goat and accept your defeat. 
Wow. Snicker. Alright. Duh. Okay. Let's see? Your adventure has met an inconveniently early end. Alright. I get it now. The people who have escaped the initial attack on the camp, many perished in the deadly underground dungeons. Others press on their determined to their determination to survive outweighing the odds. Okay, tutorial two. It seems a lot deeper than I initially thought. A fresh new adventure inside a fresh new dungeon. Here's to hoping that this brave explorer is more fortunate than the last. Let's get straight to business by attacking the warlock. Not too shabby, but it would be great to improve your odds against these foes somehow. Try searching the dungeon for power ops. Games like these always have them. It's true? Warning, attack power ups ahead. Use only in case of extreme emergency and or damage dissatisfaction. Well, I guess this is an emergency. When you walk over and attack power up, it permanently increases your damage by 10%. Okay. Become decidedly more effective in combat. Note how it only took you a single strike to fell that op opponents as opposed to two previously. Constitution boosters. Okay. Maximum health, but they won't actually heal you. Okay. Goo blob. What an enemy. Combat, valuable stats. Let's see? Why can't I go this way? Arcane amplifiers, spell casting. Okay. Maximum mana. Oh, for the love of Tarog. Another goat? No, this is rubbish. You need to find another way out of the dungeon. Nor the goat. All right. What is this question mark? Ah, dungeon exit. Not the most glorious way to end a session, but sometimes it's your only choice unless you count impaled by killer goat as a viable option. See, I didn't learn much there. Congratulations on your dungeon survival. I was also involved in that dreadful caravan attack, but managed to avoid harm by hiding in my obscure documents closet. I'd like to see what's in there. Your experiences have made one thing clear to the rest of the survivors. If there's any hope for us, we need to band together in a base of operations. We need a kingdom. To make this anything more than a lowly adventuring band's dream, You'll need to secure funds for development. Your survival and experience have inspired hope in the members of this camp, and they voted to put you in charge. It's time to gather the rabble and loot some dungeons. All right. As our newly elected kingdom administrator, I think you could do with a little help from the professional advice monger such as myself. Why don't I help you with this whole securing our immediate future thing? Okay. Dungeon. Confirm. Select a race and a class. I didn't realize I'd be managing a kingdom. Welcome, hero, to the legendary dungeon of hidden treasures. I wonder what's in here. While exploring, why not help yourself to a complimentary glyph of fiery doom? Ah, a spell. I was wondering when I'd get one of these. Click on the pickup panel. Okay. I wonder how I use it. Click on the spell glyph and then the target. Whoa. Yoink. That used a lot of mana. 
Uh, click on a foe and drag your cursor to another block. Ooh, quick access. So like this, and then like that. I see. Burn the rays. That sounds like a like a Moombaton artist name or something, or a reggae artist. You're running out of mana. Explore the dungeon to regenerate. This works similarly to health regeneration. Passage does not open to standard tour. Please do not enter, particularly if you're the type who would readily steal lots and lots of gold. I mean, why else would you enter the dungeon of hidden treasures? I mean, Inventory screen. Let's see. Let's. Crispy. As you level up, your spell damage will increase. Oh, but they can't hit me back. So that's the benefits? I see. Ooh. Treasure. I was expecting to get attacked or something. Ah, oh, here we go. Treasure room was a trap. You hear something big and heavy sliding into place from the dungeon above. What a surprise. This creature is blocking your exit and seems to be immune to magic. Well, that's unfortunate. So why not convert it? Because it won't be useful here. You can recycle any unwanted inventory items. Click and hold your mouse button over the glyph, and then drag it to the conversion box in the bottom right corner of the inventory panel. Is that this? I see. Conversion bar. Oh, you get extra stat boost. Interesting. We made it. Excellent direction of our efforts, bold administrator. The bounty from that dungeon can now be put to good use. If your fledging kingdom is to survive beyond its first few weeks, it will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep the terrors of this land at bay. Your new position gives you responsibility over our collected funds and efforts. This represents the resources we've managed to scrounge together so far. Ah, I see. Current task is ensuring our survival, so I recommend investing in our limited funds in training and arming some real defenders. I have to... Okay. I just want to go through the dungeons. Remember this moment well, for you have taken your first tentative steps down a long and glorious path. Under your guidance, we will build a kingdom to challenge the gods themselves. I I thought we just wanted to survive. I didn't know we were going to challenge the gods. It sounds a little... A little crazy to me. We only got swords. And, well, I guess we have spells, but... Ah... Uh, superior to common guards... Quest unlock trophy hunting. Administrator, our scouts have discovered a monster lair in the surrounding area. It is time to take the fight to them. Let's have our heroes load up and move out. They can return when they have some monster heads and or other souvenirs of victory. Oh, who are you? What is it? What, what happened to your face? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't ask that to, immediately, but I want to know. Well, that sounds like an interesting prospect. Oh, sorry for butting in. Um, 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 okay. Here it is, your hour of triumph. Your goal in this dungeon is simple. Find the goat boss, slay it, and leave the dungeon with its trophy as proof of your deed. Not only will you prove yourself ready to move on from these annoying tutorials, but you'll become the new kingdom's first celebrated hero. I was ready. I was I was getting tired of the tutorial. T -t tutorial. Burn the Raz. Glyph. 
I see. I gotta remember to pick it up like that. What is this? Items and weapons. Okay. Sword. A shield. A pendant of health. Wow, this is a convenient full set just right at the beginning. Um, do I just press this? I do. Okay. I got far less space. I can have a lot of a lot of these. Alright. Oh, I forgot I have to press pick up. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Bleat? The dreaded goat waits for you at the end of the corridor. No hints and no hand holding. Use a combination of your items, spells, and character skills. See if you can defeat it and take its horn. Dang, what is this? Look look at the surrounding horrors around this goat. Let's see. I mean, we might as well start with the... That. Oh, I need more... Um... Let's hit it. We can hit it again. Oh, I'm dying. Uh, heal. Heal again. Oh, okay. Victory! The evil goats is no more. Alright, goat horn. See a trophy hunting? Victory! Your hero parades through the muddy streets of your rapidly growing settlement. Goat horn cl clasped in one mailed fist. Rose petals and jubilant shouts alight fill the air as townsfolk come out to celebrate. Amidst the glee, a lone figure approaches you as you recline in your administrator's parade viewing chair. Hi there. I can't help but notice the sheer amount of fun that you're ha all having with that chunk of monster skull. I happen to have a business proposal related to that. This may seem rather forward, but I was once a renowned taxidermist in the surrounding realms, and I know a lot of very rich buyers who would love a mounted beastie head of some kind hanging over their fireplace. Bragging rights, you see? Long story short, I'd like to buy that trophy from you. I have the gold right here. This new kingdom needs some kind of regular income, right? Well, work with me and we can build an entire economy around hunting and slaying evil. I'm pretty sure that this will turn into a long and mutually profitable relationship. Oh, so I sold it. I don't even have to think about it. All right, I'm not suspicious at all. It seems legitimate enough to me, I guess. He's just he's just trying to make a living. There's more than one way to slay the average dungeon monstrosity, and the kingdom's population is one of diverse talents and interests. Magic users, holy men, and even common cut persons are interested in fighting the good fight, especially if there's money involved. Monster trophies are a valuable source of kingdom income. Let's put that money to good use by building ourselves a second guild. Ah, you get priests, the reliable slayers of the undead with impressive health buffs. Wizards, start off with a free fireball, lower mana costs, and other abilities. Make their glyph use much easier. Thieves. Extra value of, out of dungeon resources and deal a little extra damage to unsuspecting opponents. Hmm. Well. We need some, some holy people before thieves, I think. Ooh, what are these? City expansion. Our brave new kingdom is still in grave peril. The Denzians of nearby dungeons are breathing down our necks. If a brave hero wanders in and slays the leaders in each area, the rest should be demoralized enough to scatter. Most autonomous and independent, independently thinking administrator, I believe you've learned enough to start performing kingdom duties in whichever way you see fits. I'll still be on hand to advise you when new matters come up, but from here, 
you may consider your decisions and opportunities somewhat more open. Have fun. Let's see. The Badlands. Vince's Vault. Thousand Cuts. Hmm. I want to go to the Badlands. The realm. This realm belongs to a creature so terrifying and deadly that it is so that it is said he can fill even the mightiest of warriors with a single blow. Magic and cunning are required to prevail. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Threat easy. Actually, oh, let's, let's try the Badlands. Human. I don't know if we should go fighter. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna go with fighter. Whoa. Humans get an attack bonus. Is this just telling me my stats all right oh i forgot I have to pick that up kind of annoying i can't just walk over it um what is that Ooh, destroy a dungeon wall and gain a temporary 20 percent physical resistance boost this effect will stack might be useful i guess Hmm. Actually, a priest would have been great here. Barely win. I'll take it. All right. Heal. Ooh, I can one-shot the zombies now. I didn't even take damage. Let's see what he got here. Ooh, you're a little stronger. You're dead. Ooh, meat man. Hmm, I'll see if anyone else is weaker. Dungeon Hint Riders Guild Memo Number One. When fighting monsters, pay attention to the combat indicator. Blah, blah, blah. If it says death, you should probably shouldn't attack. Well, I guess. I guess that's a good point. Hmm. I can take you. Oh. Did a lot of damage though. Oh, but I le leveled up. View short term benefits, pick them up as soon as possible. A lot of items, I see. Oh, you're a level one. Just slice. Okay, okay. Seems easy enough. Oh, hey. A potion is a potion. I've been around since the desktop dungeon's alpha, and I'm still gonna kick your ass. Just land me one- just let me land one hit. Regards, Garbad the- whoa! He's a goat boss. Let's see. I'm gonna level up first. Take out some of these other weaklings. Lucky? That is such an odd mechanic. Everything else you just click to pick up, I thought you don't. Hmm. I'll win, right? Yes. Fireball. Ooh, level five now. Your one hits. Look at all these weaklings. Okay, you were a little strong. I'll give you that. You were. Okay, that's a dead end.
I want this. Actually, I guess we'll convert it. Why not? That seems to be it. Okay, let's fireball him. We can do that a couple times. Well, I'll win. The goat, whose name I haven't even bothered to remember, is dead. Ooh, administrative use only. Easy, easy, easy. Normally, I'm not a big fantasy person, but I'm liking this. I really want to read some new, like, mm, mystery, supernatural thing sometime soon. So I've been rewatching some of Haruhi. And it's just giving me that vibe. Although they talk a lot faster than I remember. Let's try a priest this time. Whoa, she looks holy monslayer. She looks kind of scared. Just like terrified, even. Just like this. Ooh, you can recommend some mystery games with a bit of a horror element? Do tell. I feel like I haven't played a lot of horror games, but it'd be fun. Wow, I'm low on health. Um, 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 um. Oh, what is this? I can summon a monster. Boost your next melee attack. Mystery Hospital. I know I clicked out. The music stopped. Ooh. PlayStation. I'll check that out. I was just thinking I need another retro game as well. Hey, adventure. Hey, over here. Yeah, it's me, the dungeon boss. Come on, just try to hit me with a fireball. I dare ya. Haha, <laughs> you suck. Regards, Vince the Invincible. Sub dungeons? Magic resist 50%. Ooh, that's not good. The 3DO? What is the 3DO? Oh, I shouldn't have hit that. Can I win though? I did. Console that released in the early 90s. Ooh. Sounds interesting.
What is it about? I guess we might as well explore a little more of the dungeon while we're here. Ooh, investigate a haunted mansion. That sounds almost exactly like what I want. That's just the couple episodes of Haruhi I was finishing. Where they're at a, well, it's not a haunted mansion, but they're doing like a murder mystery type game. There's nothing here. What the heck? Well. Is this? That's the exit. No. Not ready for that. there's another entrance. You don't seem beatable. What does this sign say? Get back to full health before fighting the next monster? Yeah, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Is there a limit on these? The horrors they've seen. I really like the little model. Like this one's already very like, just eyes wide open. The things I have seen, but this one's just like really seen a lot. Neat man. Wow, you have a lot of health. Enough health. Ooh, it's it's dangerous. I don't know, do I try to defeat him first? Will I level up? That's the question. I will, okay. Good, good, good. How does this summon monster work? I have no idea. Um... A win? Alright. Barely. Five health left. Holy Mon Slayer has really seen it all. Too bad. Another new building available. Hail, most industrious kingdom administrator. A local blacksmith, unsatisfied with the extremely poor sales of farming equipment, has a business proposal to bolster the heroes in your kingdom. When you're interested, pay a visit to the supply store. Is that this? No, that's the thief den. Ooh, here. Wrenches and crowbars are cute, but this place will be so much nicer once it moves on to real weapons. Ah. Upgrade, I guess? We have to buy the equipment still. I guess we might as well. Dungeon preparations. Performance boosting effects, okay? If you want to see how these preparations affect Dungeoneering, just start up the next adventure. All right. Go to Thousand Cuts. 
We'll go the priest again. Ooh. Well, these cost. Maybe I'll get the Slayer Wand. Cheap. Seems useful. Oh my god. Potato Buddhist. Beautiful. He's... <laughs> The, 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 you know, they made like a, like an updated version of this game or like a sequel and it didn't, I don't know. It just doesn't, I don't know if it has these same, uh, the same vibe from what I saw. Ooh, if a monster is higher level than you, it will give bonus experience. You're right. The game is preparing me to take on fights in a level. Mm. Can I? I don't know if I can win. Not quite. be safe? I don't know. Okay. They, they've seen it all. They must have seen it all. Will only do two damage? Oh no. I must be reading that wrong. Ooh, gold. That up. What is this? Wait, what? Swap's place with an enemy. Alright, I'll pick it up. Foul nemesis. It appears as though you discovered my base of operations. I cannot suffer your presence and allow you to live. Regards, Sir Digby the Goat, who is totally a boss character. Totally. We are... So our surrounding enemies are just really powerful goats. All of them. What the? Why? I feel like the zombies are kind of scarier. The goats rule this world. They really must. Impressive. What a scary world to live in. Let's, let's, let's explore down here. Oh, that's it. I was expecting monsters. Oh, wait. Oh. I don't need sights. Who needs to see when I'm a priest and have the power of God on my side? Swap places. Finally level three. I feel like that took me a while. Now I can just wander through all these guys. Might as well use my wands, right? Eliminated. Oh, do I not get experience for that? Well, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? I was hoping I would. I mean, it makes sense. But that's no fun. For a second, I thought there was another me. I was terrified for a moment. I saw those beady eyes like, oh my God, I have to fight this thing. But no, it's just me. I 
I am the real horror of this world. Alright, looks like we're... Spam. It's a fireball. Burn the rays. Um, okay. Now we gotta, gotta hit it. Ooh. Ooh. Not a problem. Whoa. Did it make that dramatic of a, uh, thing last time? Congratulations. You've defeated the three terrible goat lords of the surrounding dungeons, and your kingdom breathes a collective sigh of relief. Unfortunately, you're running up against a new kind of problem. As you take the spoils of your hero's dungeon exploits back to the kingdom treasure vault, you notice that it's becoming a teensy bit full. We have too much money. It's time for the official vault to expand to be on the confines of that old couch in your spare bedroom. Oh, okay, that, that makes sense. For now, you'll need to focus on finding a better source of cash security. Hiding it in random pots across town simply won't do. But then, like, obviously I wouldn't want to do that. A hero could just come in, hit all the pots, and collect all the money. It'd be ridiculous. Rumors abound in the local tavern that mysterious creatures known as bankers have been sighted in these realms. If you catch one, maybe you can harness its power in some way. Oh, those mysterious creatures known as bankers. Why? Field reports say that a well-dressed creature has been sighted in the den of danger allegedly trying to assess its value on real estate market. <gasps> it's said to be somewhat magic resistant and very prone to financial jargon. Challenge and defeat the banker roaming here. We might be able to unlock some of its financomancy secrets. Ah, uh, medieval times. Venture capital is the, the quest. Okay. Although Venture Cave is well known as a gathering point for deadly adventure slayable beasties, it is also tends to be a meeting point for dubious dealers and good smugglers. Trackers are almost certain to find... Wait. Trackers are almost certain that you'll find a banker wandering around here. Challenge and defeat it. Uh... Okay. Dangerous investments or venture capital? Well. Venture capital, I guess. Hmm, do you think bankers are undead? Probably not. Whoa. Not undead, but without a heart. Maybe true. They're gonna try to get me a mortgage. I can't. Whoa, a level six? That's the highest level enemy I've seen so far. And that's not even a banker. That's a zombie. Might be able to confuse them, but I can tell. I have good eyes. This way, I guess. It's nice to be able to see where all the enemies are. I could take them. Did more just appear? Ah! Those who search for the secrets of banking need to prevail in not one, but two economist combat trials. See that you're already prepared for this. Will not go easy on you, according to a footnote in page 16A of my contract. 
I'm obliged to kill you if your performance is unsatisfactory. Your exit has been blocked. We fight to the death. Regards, the banker. He looks kind of like a vampire. Sir, can you look in this mirror, please? Boss encounters like this are recorded in the Codex, Tome of Wisdom, populated by the combined experiences of your kingdom's denizens. Denizens? Denizens. Denizens. It updates whenever you find something important in the game world, like a new item or status effect. Four 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 four. Have some garlic, sir. That would have been a good um good alternative. Well he's level ten, so unless we find some garlic here. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Level four. Just get all the low level guys. Make it easy. Let's go down the passage. What does this say? I know you're reading these. Stop it. That's kind of rude. Maybe I want to read them. Hmm? Ever thought of that? At least I'm one of those people that reads the things. places with an enemy. Mm. The amount of problems in the world that would be solved if people just read, read the thing that they were supposed to read. some magic here. Ooh, I got an achievement. Monster Masher. That is I, the Monster Masher. Can I take you now? I can. Ooh, but you do a lot of damage still. Wow, you're level nine. Ooh. Ooh, let's see. You're, I can one shot you probably. One shot you now. One shot you. One shot these guys. You're probably a two shot. Ooh. I can go over here and one shot you. Oh, I can't one shot you? You got a lot of health, buddy. Hmm, what's this guy up here? Hello, what level are you? Seven. I'll take you out first. I took three, wow. Barely alive. Hmm. Let's use some mana. Mana, mana, mana. Barely win. I'll take that. No more potions. It's actually kind of not good. Well, we okay, have mana potions. Ooh, but leveling up heals me. Something to keep in mind. Let's go to you. Warlock. Oh, I'm gonna... Ooh, I'm gonna push it. I'm just gonna have to use a lot of that, I think. 
want you to die. That way I can level up. Oh, I'm so close to dying. Hmm. I don't need this. Did that? Oh, it didn't level me up, but it gave me stats. Too scared to accidentally click on them. Oh, fuck. Is that GG? I think it is. Wait. Let's see. Maybe there's something I haven't discovered somewhere. Like a potion. Um. Does not seem to be the case. Oh, but I also can't leave. <gasps> oh, no. Wait. Hmm. Who's got the least? Wait, when did my health recover? I thought I was super low. What just happened? Oh, because I walked around. So... Did that give me... Oh, because I uncovered new areas. I see, I see. Okay. Who's got the least amount of health? You do. Let's... Okay. We're good. We're alive. Barely. Um... Hmm, do I risk it? With these guys? Or do I just go for the boss? 10, 10, 9. That won't be enough to level me up. So I guess I'm just going to go straight for the boss. I don't need this. I'll use these. Whoa, wait, 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 what? Immediate death. Um, physical resistance, 35%. <gasps> mm, I might be kind of... A physical attack? How quaint. I'm an ancient being of untold power and influence. I would have thought that you'd at least have some magic with you. Looks like this is going to be a short fight. <laughs> I might be right. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh no. I think it's over. Cleave of Avon. Died of banker. Okay. I kind of need the wizard then, huh? Puzzle time. I just died. You're going to make me do a puzzle? Some forward scouts return with interesting news. If you think Dungeoneering is becoming too difficult or hazy, you should see what they have to show you at the newly established Guild of Exploration. Let's see. Puzzle unlock tutorials? No. Mm. Get a reward. Nah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get wizards. Let's see if we can do that again. Wait, where is the hold on. Ah, here we go. Venture. Venture capital. Magic sense. Magic affinity. Actually, the priest might be even better. Are vampires undead? Not usually, right? I'm gonna go with wizard. And Slayer Wand, I guess. Pick up. Pick up. Maybe 
maybe I'll leave that area. Or if I need help and go explore it, right? Could come in handy later. Oh wow, they go in this, I see. Level up. Whoa. You're a little too high level for me. Let's get all these. Uh, creates a wall and a dungeon tile. This targets an enemy. Your next kill earns 50% bonus experience. What does that mean? little confused on that. Should be useful, maybe. Let's go get this other... I wonder if that means I can use it on an enemy. I should try it. Destroys dungeon ball. Hmm. Oh, you're all high level. Don't be. Okay, let's try it on this guy. But this one? Yeah. Oh. The heck? I did something. Now there's a wall there. I didn't pay close enough attention to see if I got the XP. I guess that's okay. Hmm. Any more guys here? Ooh, I can't attack him, or unless I want to die. Which I must say, not today. That is certain death. Let's not certainly die. Maybe I shouldn't use all of my... Oh. Why? What did I do? I wasn't paying attention. And I died. Leaving this place with a win. Oh. Spoken too soon. Okay, let's, let's do that again. Good timing. Okay, I guess I'll look at that area a bit more. <laughs> that was completely my bad. I wasn't paying attention at all. I was like, oh yeah, I can, I can beat this guy, totally. And then I didn't. Oh, look. There's the banker. Do you count as undead? Pacifist? The heck? What does that mean? Okay, these guys are all a little too... A little too high level. Forgot the garlic again. How could I? I love some garlic though. I should just carry it on me at all times. I guess you'll never know. 
when you meet a vampire. And when you're going to. It hasn't happened yet, but maybe one day I will. Can't help but be too prepared, right? I actually know somebody that has a vampire hunting kit. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's ever been used, but um, they're prepared, I guess. to call them up. Yes, I have a vampire that needs to be eliminated. I don't remember what was in it. It's definitely a steak. I remember seeing a steak. I think there was some sort of silver or something in there. I don't know. Whoa, that's a level 8. No, thank you. Ooh, nuggets. I'm surprised I'm not hungry at the moment. Probably will be soon. Ooh, I leveled up. I think I'm already farther than I was last time. Warp Camelot is doing it. I could take this guy, right? Yeah. Actually... Hold on. Wait. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I could make this game bigger? That would've been kinda nice. Death. Okay, don't die. He's dead? Oh, I'm one experience point away. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let me make sure. This... Non-level XP bonuses apply. Base experience, capped at player level. Okay, let's just see. Okay, that levels leveled us up. And restored our health. They really give you such a limited amount of um, things. Really got to be kind of sparing. Said that the yin that the twins yin and yang are immortal though this is a mere deception they can be defeated by one who is swift enough hmm no experience i don't think i'm high enough level for that maybe i'll come back I feel like I shouldn't explore new areas until I'm like not 100% healthy. So that way I get health back by exploring new areas. Okay, see I'm healthy there. Oh, clicked out of the game. Um, oh, you. Why haven't I killed you yet? Okay, let's not do that. Okay. Mm. Make our way down here. Down yonder.
Can I take you? That would be nice. We'll see. Okay, I can win. Mm. I don't need all these. Is this one swap places? Yeah, we can get rid of that. What is this one? Get some buffs. First strike, next combat round, 5% dodge chance. Ooh. Push an enemy back a tile. Ooh. might become useful maybe. Let's explore a little. Heal back up. Who's got less health? You do. That is death. Okay, let's look. Mm. Let's use this. That's still, oh, he's on one health and that would still kill me? Well, I got him. He's dead. Oh, I need three XP. Level up. Let's explore. You'll be enough. Oh, he didn't hit a wall, so it didn't do any damage. Kind of a surprising amount of thinking. Oh, more mana. Good, 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 good. Level six. We'll go down to this level six guy. Oh, it's a level two. Goodbye. Mm, can't really hit him into a wall. Who would be a good one to... 72. I'm 108. We'll use this thing again. Push them through the wall. Wow, you have a lot of health. Again. Again. Haha. -ha. Okay. Oh, go down here and heal. Win. Oh, a health potion. Good. Oh, why haven't I gotten this? Pushing you into the wall is great. Ooh, I don't have a lot of mana left. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Oh, I used that. Oh, well. It worked. We're fine, we're fine. that level seven up there kind of physical resist oh 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 I shouldn't have used all my mana oh crap Not good. I can't leave either, can I?
Well, let's just go straight to him, I guess. Fireball him. Why does it keep opening that? certain death. And how the heck do I beat him? Oh no. I'll die against these guys too. Need to save all the magic attacks. I gotta, I probably have to do those puzzle things as well. Oh wait, this guy? Give me something. How on earth? He has so much health. That doesn't matter. It's over. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see. Ah, uh, puzzles. Hmm. Are there like actual tutorials? Oh, this one has a reward. That's a lot of uh, tutorials that I don't want to do right now. Let's see what else there is. Blacksmith. It is nice, I agree. Those are all way too expensive. What is this? Eiften? I guess let's try one more. Let's try the other one. I'll be... Yeah, I'll be a wizard again. Ooh, lots of level one guys. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Quick XP at the beginning though. Ooh, cannot beat him. Still can't beat him. There we go. Mana potion. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, win. Oh. Almost dead, but... I guess if I take on some of these guys earlier, I can survive by like abusing the healing. I guess they heal as well. Ooh, that's death. Maybe let's not die. Kind of different strat. You're probably too high level. Um, I don't want to destroy a wall. First strike, sure. Already level four. I definitely think playing around that um, gaining health by exploring is the way to go. Instead of exploring first. That's death. Still death. 
Let's see if that's death. Oh, I should have used... Because it restores mana too. Keep both of those in mind. It's almost more like a puzzle game than an adventure. Honestly, yeah. It's a good way to put it. More puzzly than I expected. Oh, I'm out of. Let's see. Okay. Let's go down and take this guy down. So I'll use mana first. Steps. How did I not realize that earlier? Pick that up. I love a good pun as well. That one got me. swipe through. Ah, oh, here we go. So you want to stimulate your kingdom's economy a little more, eh? Very well. Prove yourself in both of our traditional economist combat trials. You'll be worthy of our assistance. Otherwise, you shall die by my hand and forfeit any and all claims to life insurance. Your exit has been blocked. We fight to the death. Regards, the banker. I see. So I wonder if a magical attack. Nice try. Wizards who think they know better are trying to roast me all the time. Are you really too weak to roll up your sleeves and duke it out? Looks like this is going to be a short fight. Of course, I bring magic to a melee fight. magic though not even halfway that's halfway okay ah but he restores so much when I restore yikes I also didn't pick up that health potion Rats. Let's just hit him with all the fireballs we got anyway. Some damage is better than no damage. Well, I guess if I boost up every single attack I do, I need to heal. Hmm. 
boost. We'll boost. Dang it. Boost. I think he's generally getting less health. Health. Half. Half health. Okay. Death. Okay, let's see. Getting closer. I can feel it. some more. Oh, I did it. I did not expect that. Oh, wait, there's more. be hero i'm emissary lyra the good elven people i must thank you for defeating that vampire upstairs he was trying to set me up with a dodgy loan and those things always harsh up my vibes pre-faded plate armor is way cooler than forking out for a shiny new suit anyway your aura reads out pretty well are you from that brand new kingdom we've all been hearing about i know a quick way out of this dungeon you take me back with you i'd like to speak to your leader oh that's me we may be able to harmonize on a few things. Okay. Wait, what is this? Exit. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, man. Victory and den of danger. Oh, I got a badge. Played the dungeon without any extra kingdom preparations. the elves i didn't even know that was a quest the elves are a welcome sight in times like these their magical prowess and arcane knowledge is a reputable is as reputable as their unnaturally good looking hair making them valuable allies in the adventuring effort of course their services don't come cheap if you want to start training them up for adventure you'll need to improve their living quarters oh so it's another race to use i see most frugal administrator while well, your hoarding skills are clearly second to none our vault cannot hold this much money we need to find a way to extend it or go about spending some gold perhaps we can upgrade a building or two um oh we have to spend it well i guess we'll upgrade the elven slum <laughs> now it's a hippie haven Elves get plus one max mana for every 70 conversion points. Ooh. Elves often argue that they're one with nature, but this is usually just an excuse to mess with dubious herbs and hand wave life's problems with vague philosophies. Nice. Herb huffing elves. This rather disheveled part of the kingdom is inhabited by a small army of barefoot herb, herb huffing elves. They smell awful, but at least they have gorgeous hair. Well, herbs, you say? You know, like, probably, I don't know, oregano or something. What else could it be? They just have a nice basil garden. Maybe it's like Jimson weed or something. Who knows how far out these elves are. Uh, anyway, my voice is kind of starting to get a little tired. 
Should probably save it a bit. Sadly. Although I am a little bit early, yeah. I can't wait to go longer. It's annoying to have to, you know, not go as long as I want. But I'm doing my vocal strengthening stuff, so yeah, I'll get there eventually. Because this does, it does feel short. I feel like two or three hours is like minimum usually. Oh, well, I'll get there. I think I'll probably, I'm hoping tomorrow to record something to put on YouTube. So even if I don't stream tomorrow, I'll have some sort of content to put out. So there'll be something. Hopefully I can get that put together. But yeah, I'll stream again on Wednesday. So I will see you then. Bye bye I guess I gotta update all those intro, outro, everything. Ooh. Have a good night.